Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Mass Effect 2, and we need to talk to Garrus. Garrus, 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 Garrus. Shepard, need me for something? Uh, Normandy weapons. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? That's not very good. Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. So I'll have to upgrade the guns, then. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. <laughs> Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Good. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just Yay! checking the weapon systems. You can I never can be too to careful. Garris. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy Catwalk. in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We're not with them. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly take like your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. Oh, what happened? What did your merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. <laughs> we made money by taking down slavers, pirates gangs that went too far. Gangs must have hated you. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. Nope. <laughs> I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me Ouch. down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. Awesome! It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Good! I like these How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I trained to become a Spectre after the Normandy was destroyed, but it didn't work out. Too much politicking at the Citadel. Nobody was willing to take risks. Like I was. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. How'd you get the group that, that explains died, how you started. Apparently. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. <laughs> the way that he goes, I gave them hope. Shows what I know. Oh, honey. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian. Uh, believe it or wow, not. okay. Not the friendliest guy, but... He could hack any system ever built. What happened? How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. Oh, Garrus! A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. And now you've got a whole chunk taken out of your whatever this thing is. Um... Give me the rundown. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. How would you being there have changed anything? You sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also uh -huh. cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Did you find him? Do you know where Sidonis is now? So he can take him out? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. <laughs> and kill his face hole. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. No, I want to talk to you some more. No, I want to talk to you some more. Get back here! Oh, hey. Hi, Edie. What's this area of the ship? Oh, I don't care. Shepard. More time to talk? for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. 
<laughs> Talk to you later, Garrus. He's in the I'll middle of calibrations. Da, da, da. Oh, great. This is the one that has the weird glitch where Shepard's head will just perpetually be on the side. Right. So, Miranda, let's have a discussion. Hi. Commander, what can I do for you? Normandy status. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. You're not helping! What exactly are your duties <laughs> I mean, aside upgrades. from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Do you have a minute, Miranda? Because you're the Cerberus cheerleader! You've got a lot of questions. She Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So... What would you like to know? Go. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term so goal? Tell that to Mass Effect 3. The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the Special Tasks Group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody! Nobody. We're privately funded, and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? A little bit of both. Cerberus has several divisions. Political, yep. military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. <laughs> accident? But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. So the ones that killed Admiral What kind of resources Kahoku? does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure! What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. But you've met him in and person? you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. Of course That he does. includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. For now, at least. Tell me about yourself, Again. Miranda. Tell that to Mass Effect oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You're genetically modified? What level of genetic modification are we talking about? Very heavy. That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Ah, for Add a to human. that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. You're cocky. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the She's reason I'm trusted there. to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Sure. Let's not trust her. Like, ever. Never, ever, ever. Okay, where's... There's Zaid, there's Jacob. Let's go talk to Zaid. Why not? Don't think he has much to say, but let's, let's, let's go talk to him. Let's, let's go talk to him. Let's, let's go talk to him. And then we'll go talk to Jacob, and then we'll go get ourselves a Morden Solus. And at least for a little bit, we'll be done on Omega. For a little bit. Shoom. Zaid! Oh, I know, that's not where Zaid would be. Zaid would be. No, this is Tully's area. Wait a minute! We need to go say hi to those guys. It's Donnelly! And Daniels. You came all the way down here to see us? Yes, we did. You're speaking to our commanding officer. Hello! I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. 
I'm engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. These two are That's awesome. engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Need anything? Set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What's the issue? What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, I won't bore you with the tech. You're boring the commander with tech. <laughs> in short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why don't you have Why them? isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably I'll find, find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. So I'll find them. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. Wow. We saw Sovereign firsthand. I'm so sorry. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat. As a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. Oh, screw them! We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. At least at the moment. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. Wow! I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. <laughs> but it got me noticed like by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. A little bit more than that, perhaps? When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, <laughs> Thanks, I love endings, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. Who's me? We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. Daddy bags? <laughs> okay, Carry then. On. Have fun. Will do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. Aww. <laughs> Told you she would. Access to this room is currently restricted. I was say, wait a minute. Nope, that's not for me. There's Zaid. He's over here. Surveillance. Beauty, isn't it? Blood Pride pack? Right that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Okay, can I talk to you, Zaid? Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a Apparently not. I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kazak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack he bastard in the airlock. room. That was uh, the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Is his head still in it? No, it's not. Okay. Be a little weird for what? Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Maybe I should actually talk to you. So you knew our Nope! Not allowed from to before. talk to him. Interesting. Whee. I knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. Ha! I never saw the point. You know, I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. No, yeah, it works. A sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. Because he's Garrus and he's freaking amazing. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Ha! And they hired him! Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. If you're useful, and now my head's glitching. I should let you go. Talk more okay. later, Shepard. Sure, talk. Seeing as I didn't say a single word. Okay, Jacob, and then we'll go get Morden. After we spend half of this episode <laughs> running around. All right, we have to talk to our resident psych expert as well. So we can learn everything there is to possibly know about her. Hello, Kelly. Kelly, 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 Kelly. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? 
His injuries looked painful. I worry about him. He's been through a lot, not just physically. There's something. And I love his him. face. I just want to hold him close and whisper, "Hey, be all right." Hey, hey, no, 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 mine, mine. I know exactly what you mean. Because anyway, I love his face. How may I help you, Commander? As the crew. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Let's chat. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What do you do? What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Is that all? Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. She's a psychologist. I'm a in psychology. Yep. <laughs> I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. It's good you're here. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. Because mental what health is like important. Very, very important. This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. The best intentions. Advance human technology. The worst save human lives. They're the, good goals. In the words of uh, the one dude from Jurassic Park, the worst things imaginable have been done with the best intentions. Okay. It sounds like Cerberus <coughs> wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Racist. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. You're pretty loving. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? <laughs> a people person. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But yeah, mostly I feel encouraged. Mission. Under your leadership, we can't fail. We won't. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I'd drop you! Now I get you. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. We are not Anything romancing you! Like to talk about? I better go. Okay. We are romancing we'll my future husband, Garrus Vicarian. At least my future husband in this particular game. <gasps> Wait, I saw I can't examine controls. Where did it say that? Examine! Joker! So, what do you think about Edie? Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back! That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. With that pole up his ass! <laughs> I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output, and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moran. Oh, pfft. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. Tell that to Mass Effect 3! <laughs> Cerberus disagrees. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. <gasps> it's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? The no sabotage, yeah, yeah, Joker. don't break the boss's toys. Don't break the boss's toys. <laughs> So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. A people person? What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. <laughs> Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. Zaid's like money. me! Oh, there's really no need to what? go spreading it around. Zayid's like me, but he takes checks. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. About the old crew? What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. Yeah. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. Aw, goodbye. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Well, you're all gonna be together now, gosh darn it. 
Because y'all my crew, and I'm going to be getting my crew back together. Well, at least m m most of them. We're not getting a Rex back, except for Mass Effect 3's DLC. What is this? Choose weapons laid out. I do that later. Jacob! Come here. Hi, Jake. There hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. Not really. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. It's a risky assignment. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. <laughs> Sliced Maybe. and diced. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. Oh, good! He's like me, then. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. Ah, you don't say. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. What are the two? Count people thinking about it as hard as I have. I appreciate your honesty. It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Honors me more than you? Okay. Oh, wait, no. That, that took a second to process in my brain what he meant there, because it just didn't look right to me. Galaxy map. Recruit the professor. Explored. I'll do all that stuff, and you know, I'll do all of the getting minerals things, all that off screen, because y'all don't want to see that. Oh, let's look at this planet and mine it for minerals. This is really slow. This is taking forever. Oh well. But now we're going back to Omega so we can get ourselves a Mortal Solace. And he's great! One of my favorite lines of his? Ahem. <clears throat> Don't ingest. You will all see the context in another video. On clips, switch to another weapon or use your powers until you find more. Because, and like last time, we don't have huh, the just heat meter. No, we actually have ammunition. Garrus! Garrus, my husband. And let's take... Zaid. Garrus and Zaid. Garrus, 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 Garrus. Going to wait. You've got nothing. You've got a lot of something. Turian Rebel. Have that. We wanted to have Overload. Actually, I want to have this one. Please. Oh, he needs to be loyal. What do you mean he's not loyal? He's Garrus. He loves me. Well, he will love me soon enough. Ah, it's the M8! I need to make one of those! Um. Seals, armor, and biotic barriers. Oh, it upgrades the Avenger. Never mind! Okay, he's got everything. I've got everything. Let's go then. Quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. Will do. also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Good. Works for me. <laughs> Garrus is like, I'm totally okay with that. Come on, Garrus. I love your face. Lower section of Harvest Marketplace. We want to go to the Marketplace. Because we got some stuff that we want to get. That's all of my money from Mass Effect 1. Great, a mad prophet. On You're a no, jerk sir. face. You are a blight. You and you, you human. Human. You are a blight. You're a jerk face. Eric. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Okay, we don't I care too much you. about him. Courteously. Just yet? Have a fine day. 
Take a look at my key. Hack module. To buy Doubles the time limit for hack. Ooh. Eh. Ha! A model of a death ship! Increase headshot damage. See you later. I'm looking for some very specific stuff right now. Do you have a quest for me? I might have something here for humans. Convince me to shop here. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere. Unless you're willing to risk the black market. Really? Tell me I'd more. I'd deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make it? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can, but don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. Ha! 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 A titillating alien magazine! Um... Okay... Good weapons... None of this is what I'm looking for except that. Uh, sure why not. I purchased the cryptary. Purchase the magazine! <laughs> Purchase the porn. Purchase all the porn. When I think about it, let's go buy that other one. Mine. Purchase Fornax. <laughs> well, I do like myself some aliens, but... So those are people who are dying. That's VIP only. AKA problem for future Scarlet. It's supposed to be something here that I can use. Hi. Hi. Leave, human. Tell Captain Gabon we not kill anyone today. Who? I don't know a Captain Gabon. You didn't kill anyone today, I swear. Anything? Not trust you. Tell Gabon we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. Okay, how fun. I'll just be going. I do not Jerk kill face. anyone today. Tell him. Sure. Jerk! Jerk! Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying. The strong still exploiting the weak. Yep. I did really even make a dent in these. Oh, hey! Strippers! Let's not! Dum 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 dum. I was looking for a shop. Because I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be something that I need around here. I just can't remember if it's here or if it's later on. That's not good. Uh-oh. Hey, you! Corian! Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. It is kind of deal. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person. But you can't breathe a word of it to Harry. Uh, really? Of course. Then we have a Why deal. Why not? Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. Are you what here? What about a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Tell me about Harrod. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no so? One just undercut him me. anyway. So much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I'll talk with him. I can go talk to Harrod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Okay, you can do let's be, be helpful! Yay, helpful! Go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. We like to help the Koreans, because we like the Koreans, because our sister is a Korean. Whoops. Welcome back. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk. I tried to click on the kiosk and accidentally clicked on you. Oh! I need those! Mine! I'll get the rest of that stuff later. <clears throat> I want to make sure I have everything that I need first. And I know that you can find a lot of upgrades while you're just messing around to... Where am I going? Not that way. This way! 
Parrot, I need to talk to your face. Your face, I need to talk to it. You're being a jerk face. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. You're Suspicious. Quarian. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to Does he have a cigar Accusatory. In his mouth? I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. Leave him alone. What if you and I make a deal? You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. I love this version With of Paragon. Very contained terror. You drive a hard bargain, human. <laughs> I haven't even started. Resignation. I love being well. Paragon. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory. To show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount. Gosh darn it! I should have waited to buy that thing. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine. I should have waited. Take a look at my kiosk if you want. I should have waited. Anything. But I didn't. Okay, Mr. Quarian. I need to talk to your face. You're going the wrong way to talk to your face. And my head is glitching again. Sometimes Shepard will just look down as she's running like this. And every time you turn the corner. Well, not every time, but most of the time. Hey, you! I heard you spoke to Harrod. Thank you so much. No this problem. Rate, I'll be off the station in no time. Good for you. Take care of yourself. You too. Yay! I was helpful! Yay! And it's also the end of this video. In the next one, we're actually going to go see if we can find more people. <laughs> My name is Miss Grise Hinderger, and I am playing some Mass Effect 2. I'll see you all in the next video.